Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to clean and maintain Mazar Mini coffee grinder. So here's all we need. We need some, we need a screwdriver, uh, some kind of picking tool, and just make sure you get a food grade lubricant. Uh, and also, if you guys have it, uh, oops, get a vacuum cleaner. Just make sure you unplug the power. First, remove the hopper on the top. Uh, if you have a vacuum, just vacuum out the inside. Now we have very nice clean inside. So now, here's the fun part. Now we are going to use our screwdriver. Let's remove the screw. We need to move clockwise to move this. So make sure this is stiff. So just have patience with it. Once you move it, it looks something like this. Okay, we move that. Here we go. And we are going to vacuum out as well. Vacuum and clean this one. And as you can see from inside, so it's not as bad, so we are going to vacuum the whole thing and we are going to clean out the, all the between all coffee grinds. Just remove it. Also, clean this blade with the picking tool. Make sure do not misplace the springs. This is very important. Also, we are going to clean out the upper burr as well. So you can tell when you need to replace the burr. Take your finger, go against the grain in a way. And if it's still sharp, it's still fine. But it's getting dull. It's time to replace both up and bottom burr. So you just go through your finger as well. Just make sure they are sharp. Once all the cleaning is done, we are going to lubricate the this screw, uh, this thread, the threading area. Okay. First, I like to clean it first with a paper towel, as you can see here, pretty dirty. And then the other side as well. Food grade lubricant. So this is already ripped, so I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit. You can use your you can use your fingers or a paper towel. Doesn't make any difference. Okay. And I like to do is go through, apply the lubricant. Once it's done, put back in. Just make sure everything is all nice and tight. And we have to screw back in. So we have to screw back in the this top color. Okay, so this is a counterclockwise. It's almost screwed from the bottom here. And I'm gonna show you how to calibrate. Make sure put the power back in. Turn on the machine. And then you are going to go down close as possible. And then when you're hearing the noise, you're going to hear it. right there so is already I lined up right there so that is the my calibrating point so that is my zero setting because my grinder setting is around more like right again so this number is just a reference number that doesn't mean anything so put back in the hopper 
actually we are put back in the screw back so this is kind of like stopper screw put back in put back in my hopper top as you can see Maserati Mini is very easy to work with and I mean easy to work with and clean as well but, but you know what I'm not a big fan of this doser here because it makes everything more difficult at home if you're in the restaurant setting doser is fantastic because you don't have to worry about uh, grind every time and you just fill it up to the top e each dosing it's about 10 gram anyway so they give you about 10 gram or so and twice you got 20 gram plus minus a couple grams so it's very easy to use but at home use I'm not uh, I won't recommend it but this thing lasts pretty much forever I mean this is I mean this machine is about at least 10 years old it's been nothing but just a workhorse anyway uh, I hope you guys like this video if you have any, any questions or comment uh, regarding Miser Mini please let me know on down below and make sure don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well see you guys next time